Today, we'll introduce you to the Michelin Brothers, the world's largest tire manufacturer. Their incredible journey led to groundbreaking tire inventions and innovations. You will understand why Michelin, because of its innovation mindset, is not a Formula One tire supplier anymore. This video goes deeper in what an innovation strategy is. This is exactly what this channel is all about, showing how companies can harness the power of invention and innovation to achieve success. I hope you'll find this video inspiring, and do not forget to subscribe for more. Michelin's story starts in 1889 in Clermont-Ferrand, France, but the road wasn't always smooth. After the founders of the rubber manufacturing business passed away in 1863 and 1864, the company fell on hard times. But Adele, the daughter of Aristide Barbier, really believed in the bright future of rubber. Determined not to give up, she turned to her sons, Andre and Edouard, for help. Edouard stepped in and took the reins, renaming the business Michelin and Company. Remember that being an inventor is not being an innovator. Innovations is about creating value with newness through business processes, technology, business models, and many other methods. Inventions is about creating things that do not exist yet, which may or not generate interest, value, and revenue. Keep watching. You will learn how the Michelin brothers were first amazing inventors and innovators. You will see what are the strategic innovations principles they applied. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. With bold ambitions, the brothers wasted no time finding new uses for rubber, launching a product called the Silent, a brake pad for horse-drawn carriages. This was just the start of their journey to revolutionize mobility and become trailblazers in the tire industry. In 1891, Michelin invented the first detachable pneumatic tire for bicycles, a revolutionary product at the time. Prior to this invention, tires were glued to the rim, making them difficult and time-consuming to repair. The Michelin Brothers detachable tire allowed cyclists to remove and repair a tire quickly and easily, significantly enhancing the practicality and convenience of bicycles. This innovation set the stage for Michelin's future endeavors and established the company as a key player in the transportation industry. The Michelin brothers didn't stop at bicycle tires. In 1895, they created the first pneumatic car tire, fitted to the Leclerc, a car they designed specifically to showcase the advantages of their tires. Though the car, drove by themselves, did not win the paris bordeaux perry race, it proved the effectiveness of pneumatic tires on automobiles. This breakthrough paved the way for Michelin's growth in the automotive industry. In 1900, the brothers invent the Michelin Guide, initially given for free when cyclists bought Michelin tires. The guide invite the Michelin customers to take the road, discover region, but as well hotels and restaurants. It is an enabler of their core products. Michelin's commitment to innovation continued with the development of the radial tire in 1946, another groundbreaking advancement. Unlike traditional tires, radial tires featured cords arranged at a 90-degree angle to the direction of travel, providing greater durability, better fuel efficiency, and improved safety. This innovation was a major leap forward for the tire industry and is now the standard in tire manufacturing worldwide. Michelin introduced the radial tires in Formula One in 1977 for Ferrari. The radial tires is now a standard in Formula One. You will discover later in this video why Michelin is not a Formula One supplier anymore. From the start, Andre and Edouard Michelin are both inventors and innovators at heart. Their vision and determination trough the years is absolutely amazing. Keep watching because what follows is a bit more technical. Today, the heart of Michelin's innovation strategy is to be a global leader in sustainable mobility, enhancing the quality of life for people by providing innovative, safer, and more environmentally friendly mobility solutions. Michelin's purpose is to offer everyone a better way forward. 
This vision drives all aspects of their innovation strategy, ensuring that every initiative contributes to long-term sustainable growth. Michelin's innovation strategy is built around achieving three specific long-term objectives. One, be a leader in sustainable mobility. Two, solving customer problems. Three, maintain market leadership. You have to know that tire manufacturers faces three constraints, full tire security for passenger safety, mass production need and cost pressure. Leadership in sustainable mobility. As the world transitions towards greener practices, Michelin aims to be at the forefront of sustainable mobility, both in the tire industry and beyond. This objective focuses on reducing the environmental impact of Michelin's products. The company is committed to reducing its carbon footprint by 20% by 2030, with a strong emphasis on eco-friendly innovations. This is very important because tire manufacturers evolve in an innovation context where the tires, because of their friction, are the main source of fuel consummation of a vehicle. Vehicle are lighter than before in a context of CO2 regulation, but electric vehicle are heavier than before. A prime example of this is the Cross Climate Tire, the first of its kind to be certified for both summer and winter use. This innovation ensures safety and performance in all weather conditions, reducing the need for seasonal tire changes and thus contributing to sustainability. Another innovative initiative under sustainable mobility is the Wisamo project, which aims to reduce carbon emissions in maritime transport. This project uses an inflatable, automated wing sail that harnesses wind power to assist in propelling ships, potentially cutting fuel consumption by up to 50% for new constructions. The second innovation long-term objective is solving customer problems while boosting company performance. By leveraging digital tools and open innovation, Michelin seeks to create a seamless, integrated experience for customers. The third innovation objective is about maintaining market leadership. Through continuous innovation in both products and processes, Michelin intends to maintain and expand its leadership in the global tire market and other mobility-related industries. To realize these objectives, Michelin count on using the Open Innovation Strategy, a term coined by Henry Chesbro from the University of Berkeley, California. Open innovation is about collaboration and partnership. Michelin's commitment to open innovation aligns with the concept of leveraging external knowledge to enhance internal capabilities. By collaborating with external partners, Michelin accelerates its innovation process and gains access to a wider pool of expertise and technology. Michelin recognizes that great ideas often come from outside its walls, which is why it partners with universities, startups, their suppliers, and other companies to co-create new technologies and solutions. This was not easy, as this involved opening its secrets to open up and innovate faster. These objectives are also enabled by implementing digital transformation which focuses on integrating digital technology into Michelin's products and services to enhance the customer experience and operational efficiency. This includes investing in digital platforms and developing connected solutions. For example, one of Michelin's key digital innovations is its connected tire technology, which uses RFID and sensors to monitor tire conditions in real time, including temperature, pressure, and wear. This technology improves safety, optimizes maintenance schedules, and enhances the overall driving experience, particularly for fleet operators. Additionally, Michelin has invested in digital platforms like Bookitable, sold back to TripAdvisor, for restaurant reservations, and Alopnews for online tire sales. And many others, Sascar, Symbio, Fleet Pulse, etc., demonstrating a commitment to expanding its digital footprint and offering more integrated customer services. The Michelin Innovation Labs, MIL, are hubs for this collaborative spirit. There is one in Europe, United States, China, and India. It fosters entrepreneurship, 
encouraging the development of innovative ideas beyond the traditional tire business. It is based on open innovation, where a network of partners, researchers, students, startups, and many others fuel the innovation pipeline. Successful projects like Resicare, which develops non-toxic industrial adhesives, and Watia, a zero-emission mobility service, have emerged from this initiative. Not only Michelin innovate by small steps, known as incremental innovation, but the company exemplifies what is known as adjacent innovations by consistently introducing breakthrough products like the radial tire and the cross-climate tire, which redefine market standards and consumer expectations. Among its most innovative recent projects is the development of a lunar wheel designed to equip exploration rovers. This wheel must withstand extreme terrain conditions. Unbelievable. Michelin places innovation at the core of its strategy, with an annual R&D budget of about 1 billion euros and nine centers around the world, employing over 6,000 people across 350 areas of expertise. The company also holds 11,000 active patents globally. The company also demonstrates organizational ambidexterity, which means balancing the exploitation of existing competencies with the exploration of new markets and digital services. This dual focus allows Michelin to maintain leadership in its core business while expanding into new growth areas. In 2023, Michelin confirmed that there is no intention to be in Formula One anymore. Two reasons. First, the Federation imposed one unique supplier, which lowered the competition and innovation effort. Second, the need from the Federation to have self-destructing tires not lasting a whole Grand Prix. Both being not in Michelin DNA of innovation and sustainability, Michelin is not willing to propose its tires. In this video, you learn about strategic innovation, the enablers of such strategy for Michelin. You were introduced to Open Innovation and Innovation Lab. Finally, you have understand the difference between invention and innovation, and the difference between incremental and adjacent innovation. Thanks for watching. If you found this video insightful, please like and subscribe to get more content on innovation and technology. Leave a comment below on what you think about Michelin's future in sustainable mobility and what other topics you'd like us to cover. Keep innovating and see you next time.